This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way I can copy texture from one part of a model to another? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model file here loaded in. And the question is asking about copying the texture or color information from one part of a model to another. So with this scan data here, you can see the scan is pretty clean all the way around, except it missed some areas around the ears, under the chin, and under the nose. So what I want to do is I want to come in, and I want to copy part of the texture or color information that's on the cheek here, and then use that information to fill in these other areas. So how can I go about doing that? So the process to do this is pretty simple. So first, we're going to grab the extractor brush and then use the From Brush option with RGB only enabled. And that allows us to grab that surface color and then use that to apply elsewhere on our mesh. So first, I'm going to come over to the brush palette over here and open this up. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to locate the extractor brush. Now, the extractor brushes are just standard brushes inside a ZBrush that have just been set up to use the alpha From Brush process. So I'm going to come over here and select the extractor. Now the alpha from brush process lives in the alpha palette and then it's this from brush button right here. This option also has the hotkey of G. So to use this, you can come over here to the alpha palette and click from brush or also press G on your keyboard. Now when this is activated, the next stroke you make on your model is going to capture the information from the surface. So if I come across my mesh here and I press the G option to activate that from brush, you're gonna see my cursor is going to change. And now if I click and drag, this is going to perform that grab process. So it's going to look at the stroke I just made, and it's now going to grab the information that was underneath that stroke. So you can see when the process is complete, I have an alpha and a texture map created. Now for this model here, I only want the texture information, so I don't want the alpha. So I'm going to come back to the top here, and I'm going to turn off Z add. And this is going to tell the extractor brush and the from brush process that I only want to grab the RGB information and not the alpha or the sculptural detail. So now I'm going to come back to my model. And I'm just going to repeat that process. So I'm going to press the G on my keyboard, which is going to activate that alpha from brush button over here. After this is activated, I'm now going to drag across the surface of the model. And this is now going to capture that stroke. And you can see I now have a new texture created over here. So now they have this texture linked to the extractor brush. I can now come to the area of my model that I want to patch or fill in the color and simply just click and drag. And this is now going to paint that color or texture information on the surface of the mesh. So you can see I can come through and fill in that area. Now I can repeat this process as many times as I like. So if I come back over here, I can now say grab this part of the model. So press G on my keyboard, click and drag to grab that area. This is now going to be calculated. And then now I can come through and fill in this area through here. So just painting with that texture that was extracted from the model. I'm just coming through and doing that. Now you can blend this as many times as you want. You can grab stuff multiple times. So I can come over here and grab, say, this area. And then I can use that as my map through there. I can come and say, zoom into the nose a little bit, get a small draw size there, and grab, say, this area. And I can use that to fill in the area there. And then I can zoom back out, and we'll come through and grab this area. So I'm making a little larger brush size, increasing that there, pressing G, grabbing that area, and then rotating and applying it. And so now I've gone through and I've used that texture map information to come through and start cleaning up those areas on the scan data that were not complete. So that process again is first just come over to the brush palette over here and I'd recommend selecting the extractor brush. With the extractor brush selected, come up to the top and if you only wanna capture the color information that is on the surface of the model, just enable RGB and then turn off Z add. After you have that set, just come across the surface of your model, press the G button to activate the alpha from brush option and click and drag to capture that detail. After that detail is captured, you'll then get a texture map that has been created, and you can then use that texture map to apply that texture information to your model. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter.
Happy ZBrushing.